Grace and peace be with you. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek in Potterville. I have a brief thought for you today. It comes from Psalm 80. And I want to talk about revival. Now, revival is way more than a sweaty preacher under a tent. A uh, true revival, true revival is God's Holy Spirit convicting people of spiritual apathy and of our sin, our sinfulness. A revival is an awakening. A revival is a realization and a turning back to God. And the central message of Psalm 80 is a prayer for revival among God's people. The psalm begins with a plea to God for restoration and for salvation. That's in verses 1 through 3. And each section of this psalm repeats the line, Restore us, O God. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. That's in verse 3. It's in verse 7. It's in verse 19. And after a short history of Israel as a vine, the psalm concludes with a prayer of request that God restore and save God's people. Now, in thinking about revival, uh, I was reminded of John Wesley and George Whitefield and the revival of the early Methodists in the 18th century. And, and maybe now, more than ever, we right now in our time and in our country, we need a revival. We need a fresh movement of God's Spirit convicting us of our sin and turning us back to God. May we together call on the name of God. May we be convicted in our areas where we fall short. And may we turn to God for restoration and for salvation. Grace and peace be with you.